One may wonder, what is the Fibonacci sequence? The sequence is a discovery of Leonardo Pisano Piccolo. His nickname is Fibonacci, that roughly translates as son of Bonacci. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers. The next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. Interestingly, Fibonacci discovered the sequence while admiring fluffy rabbits. He observed the reproduction of the rabbits and discovered that after a pair of rabbits reproduce, it will give out two, and then three pairs of rabbits, and then five, and then eight. Thus, the Fibonacci sequence. When illustrated, the Fibonacci sequence creates an interesting spiral. Now, the spiral is common, especially in nature. The most common example of its presence is in the Nautilus shell. The Fibonacci spiral can also be seen in fern leaves, especially baby fern leaves. Another plant, the succulent, also portrays the presence of the sequence. Its leaves grow exponentially. But most importantly, the Fibonacci sequence is present in flowers, specifically and the various number of their petals. The first number from the Fibonacci sequence, number one. This number is represented by the one petal lily. The next number is number two. Yes, there are two petal flowers, they are uncommon, but they do exist, like the euphorbia. One plus two, and we get three. The number three is represented in flowers by the mariposa lily. Two plus three, and we get five. Five petal flowers are the most common, like literally. An example is the local gumomela. After 5, the number 8 is next in the Fibonacci sequence. An example of an 8 petal flower is the white dryad. Next is an example of the 13 petal flower, the yellow ragwort. The last example, but not the last number, in the Fibonacci sequence, number 21. 21 petals can be seen in daisies, but some daisies also have 13 and 34 petals, which are also in the Fibonacci sequence. You may have noticed... You may have noticed that there are flowers that do have a number of petals that are not in the Fibonacci sequence like the santan with only four petals, the sampaguita with six, and others. But one should understand that most of the flowers have petals that are in the Fibonacci sequence. Hundreds of species have five, eight, thirteen, and other numbers in the Fibonacci sequence as their petals. We have noticed the presence of the Fibonacci sequence in flowers. Do you know where else can it be seen?